hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can create your thumbnails and i'm also going to be sharing with you guys the standard which i use to create my own thumbnails and this is going to help you to increase your click-through rates which will in turn help you to get views here on youtube so if you're interested then you need to keep on watching this video okay so now before we go into creating thumbnails and all of that i'd like to explain a couple of things now your click-through rates basically what this means is it measures like how well you're able to convert your impressions into views okay so let's say youtube pushes out your content to a particular amount or a particular percentage of people now if those people click that is where you get your click through rate so it is very important because your click through rate two things that are very key in influencing your click through rate has to do with your title and your video thumbnail because that is what people see before they even think of clicking on your video okay so your thumbnails need to stand out they need to be popping they need to be eye-catching and also your titles but today we are going to focus on your thumbnails okay you know how people say don't judge a book by its cover that doesn't apply here on youtube people are going to judge your content based on your thumbnail which is the cover okay so it needs to stand out it needs to it needs to be good it needs to be professional so i'm going to be sharing with you guys standard which i use to create mine and i'm also going to be giving tips along the line okay so now we are in our two buddy seo studio and we're going to take a look at the thumbnail tips we can see that they don't actually impact search ranking but a professional thumbnail can impact your click through rate, and that is what we want so you're supposed to use bright colors high contrast images which are images which are, which are bright and you're supposed to include a close-up of a human face so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put your face in your thumbnails people would most likely click when they see your face and if your thumbnails appear more than once while they're scrolling there's a higher possibility of them clicking because your face is already familiar so ensure that your text is large enough and put into consideration the people who are going to be watching on their mobile phones and also use fonts colors and shapes which are consistent with your brand this is very important so that people can easily identify with your brand now taking a look at this we can see how these colors just pop and look at how it's ranking against other thumbnails so now that we have that out of the way we have understood the standard and how everything is going to be now we're going to go ahead to research and see what other people who have done these things and have gotten a ton of views and we're going to take note of the ones that did really well so we're going to do our thumbnail research right now so since i'm doing a how to make youtube thumbnail video i'm just going to type that and we can see the results they have a couple of tags they have pop of colors and for this guy he has a couple of his other thumbnails so that people can really understand so we can draw inspiration from that and we can see they're also using red because i mean it's youtube you have the youtube logo this would also drag and draw more attention to your thumbnail so that people can click very it is highly advisable to create your thumbnails and not just to um screenshot from a video because that will reduce the quality of the thumbnail so, and so it's very advisable that you sit down and think on how you want your thumbnail to look make sure you look good because youtube is a visual platform okay so people are seeing what your thumbnails look like so take a picture of whatever it is and it is highly advisable to take pictures and include close-up shots of yourself in the thumbnail. So when you're taking your thumbnail, try to take as much as possible so that you have a lot of options to pick from. Try not to take screenshots and make sure that thumbnail you're taking has your face in it. next we're going to edit now if you haven't watched how i edit my pictures then i would leave the link you can check out and learn how i edit and blow out the background because it's highly advisable to blow out the background because it, it helps it to be less distracting if you blow out your background so um if you want to know how i do that if you want to know how i edit my pictures then you should click on this link or i'll leave it in the description box so that you can visit that after this video of course um, now that we are done editing this is what it was looking like before and this is what it is looking like right now 
and now that we are done editing we're going to upload to canva and canva is what we're going to be using today it is beginner friendly it is i mean it is so easy to use i would highly recommend using canva to work on your thumbnails okay so now we're just going to go ahead to create a design and you can search for youtube thumbnail but well, because i use this frequently it's already here for me so i'm going to click on youtube thumbnail and that will just bring out the whole um, dimensions of that and then i'm going to go ahead to upload the image and this might take a while depending on how large the file is so when that is done we're just going to go ahead to click on it and then we can expand this and let this fit into the dimensions for the youtube thumbnail okay so this is something which i just recently learned and i'm going to start pointing to the right my right hand side anytime i want to be pointing at a text that is because youtube has the timestamp which shows the duration of your video on the right hand side of your screen as we can see in this um thumbnail these two thumbnails now the first one the timestamp is covering the tutorial parts of my thumbnail and in the second one we can see clearly because of where the text is located everything is clear and the timestamp is not covering anything that i need my audience to see so it's very advisable to use the second thumbnail as a guide so that way people can really see it at first glance so now that that is fit into the youtube thumbnail dimension i'm going to go ahead to add my text and when you're adding your text make sure that you're adding a text that is click worthy a text that is going to grab people's attention and also make sure that you're using bold fonts now canva has they have a lot a lot of fonts to pick from but i would highly advise these ones which i usually use and these ones are bold and it's easy to see it can increase the size and you can also increase the spacing so that it is well spaced out so, and that way it looks easier to read okay so now the next thing i'm going to add another text now make sure that your text doesn't exceed at least say between three to five words and not more than six words because you don't want it to be too clustered and so i'm going to pick the same font which i used and take note that canva again it has so much to pick from and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you use cursives because if you're using cursives people might not be able to read that now look at what that just did to my thumbnail look at what it did to the text you can see that it is not easy to read so try to use more visible and legible text so that people can see your text and know what you're talking about at first glance so i'm going to just space that out so that it's easier to read and then I'm going to drag this to the bottom and I'm also going to increase the size of the text so that it is very easy to read, okay? So next, I'm going to go ahead to change the color of this so that it's going to pop on this background. And to make this even pop better, I'm going to add shapes. And so I'm going to go to the elements tab and I'm going to go ahead to pick this square. And then I'm going to reduce the size of the, um, of the square so that it can really fit and cover my text properly. Stretch that out so that it can cover the whole text. And then after this, I'm going to go ahead to change the color and i'm going to change this to black then i'm going to go ahead to change the position of the text and put the text forward and send the shape to the back so that way you can see how that just literally popped and then i'm just going to duplicate that and do the same thing on the top on the bottom text which is a thumbnail text Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead to type YouTube. I'm going to see a lot of logos for YouTube and I'm going to pick this one and just move that to the center. So this is going to be my pop of color. I mean, red because I mean it's YouTube. So now there's an empty space and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to import photos of my previous thumbnails and we're just going to insert this into that empty space. So we're going to scale it down and I want it to look like a cluster of thumbnails. So I'm going to rotate it and then I'm also going to go ahead to reduce the size a little bit and reduce the transparency so that it is not so um, obvious but it's still obvious. And that way it's not so distracting so i'm going to add two more thumbnails to that so that it looks like a cluster of thumbnails So 
so now that we are done this is what it looks like and i'm going to go ahead to just reduce the size just to see what it looks like if i'm watching from my mobile phone we can see that the text is clear is very visible easy to read and easy to understand so when you're done creating your thumbnail just go ahead and download this and this is going to automatically save to your laptop and this is also you can also use this on your mobile phone i mean it's a mobile app as well but i decided to use my laptop to explain this because it's easier it's faster and you can see all that i'm doing really clearly that brings us to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video then let me know in the comment section i have a playlist for getting you started with content creation so i have a playlist of content creation tips please check that out and just fist on it and get started honestly so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share comment subscribe and i'm going to see you guys in my next video